for Utah. They want to push the pace, keep it going. They also want to stay alert. They don't want to dwell into the long road trip and play a lesser opponent here tonight. And then they also want to share the rock. As we mentioned, they are excellent at passing the basketball. Keys of the game tonight brought to you by Buick, proud supporter of the SWAC. We are underway. Mississippi Valley State in the whites. The Utes are in the blacks tonight. So glad you've joined us here for ESPN's coverage of the SWAC and Pac-12. Mississippi Valley State starting lineup there. Johnson, Mahoney, Harlow, Hunt, and Gibson. For the double X. Elbow jumper from Johnson off the mark. The rebound pulled in by Keeley. I think we'll be calling her nickname quite a lot tonight. See her with her starting four as well. Yeah, you see uh, Nick and Johnson, McQueen, and Peely. Also joined by Veada from Portugal. Both teams with a possession. Still trying to find their sea legs early on here. Swing it to the right side for Mahoney. Taking it baseline off the glass, but fouled. Dead ball turnovers are one thing, but live ball turnovers where they can get out in transition, that will get them behind the eight ball in a hurry. Veada to Peely. Post up right block off the glass. Couldn't fall it in. Ball out of bounds. Played three years at USC. 58 starts. She was the Pac-12 freshman of the year. See a little token pressure here now by the Utes. They've reset the shot clock and we're ready to go. Early stages still looking for a point. Mahoney into the front court. Working the perimeter early. Here's a three on the way. And that's off the read for Gibbons. Rebound pulled in by the Utes. Down low to Peely. And an offensive foul. Good call. Good position down low. And again, they try the press here, Ken. Hunt able to bring it across. Good patience by Mississippi Valley. Long two on the way is good for Mahoney. She cashes in, and there's the first two points of the game, two minutes in. And Mahoney has been on fire the last three games, averaging 15 points and seven boards over her last three contests. Down the lane, a floater on the way, rolling out for Harlow. And the Utes will come back the other way. Wearing the pink shoes tonight. I love the fashion <laughs> statements. Kick it to the near corner, a three, Neatkins, in and out. Saved, but goes running to the hands of Peely, who scores two. Yeah, Peely, the Devilette still stuck at two. Mahoney the other way, and she walked. Yeah, pass just a little too far out in front. That would have been her second, didn't get the call. Still a 2-2 ball game, under six minutes to go here in the first. A very low-scoring affair indeed. Alongside Ken Moore, I'm Jason Metco. Glad to have you with us this evening. There's a beautiful pass and two more play tonight. Hunt, low pass for Harlow, intercepted, and here come the Utes and the Blacks. Coast to coast, laying good. There's two points for Isabel Palmer, hailing from Australia. The Utes extend their lead. Jones kicks it back, left wing three, Mahoney. Check that. The second. Oh. How does that stay out? Physics unkind on both of those attempts. Utah quickly the other way. Two down low, Kelsey. Easy deuce. Lead is five. Here's a deep three attempt that's just a little bit short for Mahoney. And the Utes trying to lob it on ahead. They do successfully going up. And... Taya Sidbury from Salt Lake City. Played her high school ball at Judge Memorial. Another turnover by the Delta Devils. Kind of falling apart here at the end of the quarter. Vieta, count it. And right now, Delta Devils desperately need a bucket to, uh, there's another turnover. Here's Lonnie White finishing with the deuce. Finds Mahoney. Beautiful pivot move. Left-hander could not finish. Had it nine-tenths of the way there, Ken, but couldn't put it down in the end. Yeah, nice move, just could not finish. Here's the top of the key three, and that's Drain shot there from Peely. Peely. And now a turnover. 
Palmer, Young, back to Palmer. Too easy, too more. Utah will have possession awarded back to them as they are starting to pull away. Healy, two more. Very difficult to throw completely cross court against a quick defensive team like Utah. Neepkins hits the tray. It seems like that cylinder is so, so small. Something's got to go your way. Right wing three, drained McQueen. Knowing that this game is not going their way right now, she's continuing to grind out there. Mahoney for three. Yes! Left wing three release. That's off the mark from Jones. Rebound pulled in by the Utah Utes. Averaging 95 points per game this season. Including taking down Oklahoma by putting up 124 on them. That's still a mind blowing number. Palmer into Johnson and scores two. Got your Christmas shopping done? Of course not. <laughs> Got the tree up, though. Did that before Thanksgiving for a change. Thought we needed a festive atmosphere at home. Mahoney to Hunt, driving the lane, laying to the... Nice yeah, pocket pass Hunt. inside. Good conversion by Gibson off the rim. Approaching the final two. Oh, a beautiful... Full court pressure and another steal. Palmer, beautiful pass down low. Mahoney to the rack. Ten points, four rebounds in that first half. There's Neepkins. Looking left side, McQueen. Healy foul. Foul trouble to begin this third quarter. Harlow, Johnson, and Gibson all with three fouls. So, Coach Anderson having to go deep into her bench. There is a deep three for Meekins who hits it. And there is half a hundred on the board for Utah. And they force a steal. Two more down low for Peel. In some ways, it's hard to believe that it was so low scoring in the first part of the first quarter. But Utah has found their groove here. Nice. Saffold with two. Saffold starting here in the third period as well. She's normally the first person off the bench. She leads the uh, Devilettes with eight points now. Wild shot. Fresh opportunity here for the Devilettes. Far corner three, Gibson, though. Another offensive rebound. Hunt will reassess the situation. 20% from the field tonight is Mississippi Valley State. There is two. Mahoney with the finish. Nice step through by Mahoney. Got to get back on defense, though, and they do not. Looking around like, all right, ladies, where, where's my help? A steal. Speaking of help. Easy two for Neepkins. Kerrigan Johnson got double teamed in the backcourt and had her pocket peeled. The lead has improved to 40 for the visitors from Utah. Mahoney at the top. Needs help. Fadeaway jumper. Hunt converts. A little distraction. You don't want to be that wide open. Pretty move. Mahoney didn't finish her own rebound. Foul and one. And we have not heard tonight a whole lot on free throws. Is that beautiful swish. Heard a lot of clangs, but no swishes. McQueen trapped. Outlets on high. Neepkins. Give and go. Peely in Memphis on Tuesday. Took the two-hour bus ride to Itabina, Mississippi, part of the SWAC Legacy Series. They had an opportunity to have a uh, pre-game meal with the Double X this afternoon. Yeah, that was really cool. Saw that last minute. An offensive system now that revolves around high percentage shots. Three-point shots, shots inside the paint, and free throws. You won't see them shoot many, if any, mid-range shots. Utah. Uh, they have dwelled on either side of the aisle. Mahoney, the free throw line jumper. Doesn't matter if it's a two attempt from there or a one. It ain't going in tonight. Palmer the other way. Far corner for Young. Back to Palmer. They'll work the perimeter. Driving right. Lane to it. Taya Sidbury from Salt Lake City. 
And the Utes are on the, prep, the precipice of putting up 70 here tonight. Ball on the floor. Settled down. And a two on the way. Is... Open look at a three from the far corner. That's a little bit off. Rebound. And the finish. And that does roll in for Sidbury, who has a quick four points on the last two possessions. And there is the aforementioned 70 on the board. Devilettes next in action coming up on Wednesday. They will take on the Privateers of New Orleans. There's an and one. Ship last year at the Pac-12 tournament. Here comes Palmer on ahead with White. Can't roll it in. Offensive rebound. Put back good. Williams back into the ball game. Fadeaway jumper. Hunt. No. Easy rebound for Sidbury. Good pass that time by Williams to Hunt. Had an open jumper. And there's Peely. Again, roughly 19 points a game. 24 minutes on the floor. Easy bucket the other way for William. Peely so far tonight with 20 points. Off the mark, second attempt, foul and one. Coach Anderson looking for some answers. They are not playing for the last shot. Mahoney. A good opportunity here for Mississippi Valley with these tough contests early in the season. Really sharpen them up for SWAT play beginning next month. Far corner three at the home. Batter the competitor of the opponent. They want to make sure that they're playing to their level of capability. Mahoney made them both. She has 13 and now a three ball. Wide open three point shooter knocks it down. But not too wide. We've seen one that's too <laughs> wide come up an air ball because you just thought the pressure was going to be there and it wasn't. Here's Hunt. Beautiful pivot move and the finish. But their ceiling is. Is it getting past the second round of the NCAA tournament? Is it winning the conference championship? What is that ceiling for them? I'm sure the answer would be is a three is up and in. And don't look down the path of the Pac-12 or the Pac-12 championship or the NCAA tournament for them. Nice give and go. Right, give and go with Neatkins. They'll kick it back to the near corner. White for three. In and out. Offensive rebound. Who else? Peely. Left wing three. Wide open. Drain. 95 points exactly. They're ranked second in assist per game, third in field goal percentage. Healy checks out now. 26 points on the night. The season high was 27 against Idaho. Working the perimeter and a three on the way. Good. As you mentioned for Mississippi Valley, they will have two weeks off. Next game will be December 14th. We'll head over to New Orleans. White down low and two there. Give her 15. And we're under four and a half to go. Utes have passed their scoring average. Vieta, good pass underneath. 124.78. Oklahoma with Rank number 16 at that time, 124 points for Utah. That's a program record. Won that game by 46 points, their largest margin of victory ever against the ranked opponent. We know we can do offense. We just have to make sure we can take care of it on the defensive end. So far they have. Pac-12 competition for them starts on the 14th when they host the University of Colorado. They can invite us over, too. Absolutely. We'll be there. <laughs> I ain't done with Thanksgiving yet. Well, I mean, I am, but I want to be opposed to another one. Certainly better than my cooking. Ojuku. Road games all the way through the new year. Those are tough, too. I saw Sunbelt Conference USA. Not an easy road coming up for Kimberly Anderson's bunch. This will be their last home game of the calendar year. Next home game will be January 7th against Purdue. 
great ball game by Utah. Got off to a little bit of a slow start here tonight, kind of playing in mud starting off. But once they got the defense going, the defense was able to turn into offense. They had that big 24-0 run that bridged the first and second quarter and a successful road trip for Utah and Coach Roberts as they go to 7-0 on the season. Ken, it was a pleasure. Thank you. For Ken Moore, I'm Jason Metko saying so long from Itabina.